Sadiq, you earlier you were talking about the importance of of not letting the whole Western um, West West Africa fall because if if West Africa fall into the hands of violent extremist organization, then you said Europe is also likely to fall. Um, how how do you see this development? What do you how do you see the connections between the two? Yes, I think it's uh, very important for European country to continue to help to help better Sahelian and West Africa. As you know, in the uh, context of uh, the Ukraine war, people in Sahel see uh, European helping very hard uh, Ukraine, and Ukraine is one country. But Sahel and uh, and uh, uh, and West Africa is uh, about uh, 16 country, more than 16 country. Remember, the expectation is big. They say they can help Ukraine. They can do this for Ukraine and not so for us. If they want to uh, rebuild the confidence between partnership in the partnership between Sahelian and uh, 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 European country, I think they have to do more. They have to do better because. Is the interest of Sahel, but it's the interest of uh, uh, European countries too. Uh, if we take the side of uh, migration, if you want to people to to stay in Sahel country, you have to give them a uh, hope perspective. They have uh, young. If you take uh, the the terrorist group in Sahel, uh, the their argument to recruit young is come with that, we will give you job. They they give it they because uh, they normally in the country they haven't young uh, when they finish the school they haven't your job they stay home and the tourist group come take them to to uh, to take them back and give them job if we want to fight against illegal migration like uh, Europe is on European agenda we have to stabilize Sahel we have to give hope to this country we have even. We have to, if we take the climate change and other things, if we don't do more for Sahelian country, uh, European agenda will not succeed ab against control of immigration, about control of, of security, is my point of view. Thank you. Um, I think we should also debunk this myth about m migration from the Sahel being a security threat to Europe. Um, so far, there hasn't been any real security uh, concern uh, coming from the migration from the Sahelian countries. What we can see is migration from any of the African states have become a political problem for the European um, states because of a, a discussion and, and a debate about um, which countries should host uh, migrants. But I think it's important to emphasize that this has so far not become uh, any type of security problem per se. But I can hear um, from all of us uh, that there is a need to maintain our focus on the Sahelian uh, countries. Um, you made the comparison with Ukraine. If, if we can invest that much in a country, can we then not do more for the Sahelian states? And we talked about the importance of stabilizing, however we define stabilizing. And I think that in your report, uh, Delina, that you wrote together with your co-author, Selina, you made an important point to talk that stabilization is not just about military uh, control, um, but it's also about political accountability uh, and good governance. Uh, 